and welcome to my channel my name is Belinda and yes we are finally launching vlogmas I know I'm one day late but better late than never I'm super excited to be uploading videos every day I'll aim to upload videos every day except weekends because you know what even God rested on the seventh day on the last day okay so weekends you know there'll be a bit of a break but I will aim to have a video up for you guys every single day leading up to Christmas but if you don't see a video here or there forgive your girl so today's video actually I'm shooting this on the 1st of December when I've just come back from an event I went to my previous um, firm they had an alumni event and you know what that inspired the topic for today because I wanted to give you all a life update some of you may know some of you may not because if you follow me on Instagram I've hinted here and there I actually changed jobs earlier this year um, so I changed I moved firms um, from one big four to another so not too different but yes I did change jobs and I just thought, you know what, let me walk you guys through why I changed my job and what I think about it now. Uh, this will be in two parts. So the first part will be focused on why I actually changed my job. Uh, maybe you guys might be interested, learn a thing or two, some lessons from me. And then the next part, part two, which you'll see go up on Monday, I'll be focused on things that I didn't expect when I changed jobs and things that I would... Um, Maybe not advice, but even just make you aware because maybe things might not be too different for you. But when you are expecting it, then you'll be less surprised, less anxious and, you know, up to the task. So I'll kick off because this Vlogmas videos for them to be up every single day, it cannot be long. Um, so the reason why I changed firms, first reason, I felt like it was about time um, I had a change. So I had joined my previous firm as a graduate straight out of uni I did the grad scheme became assistant manager and you know what life was good I got all the qualifications I needed to get some of you probably watch this channel because of my ACCA videos maybe you watch my sister videos so you know what if you ch check my um, me on paper career wise you know getting all I need to get for the role that I was on because I was doing tech risk consulting um, but I did get um, Slowly but surely, I was starting to get a bit bored. And the boredom was not because the type of work was predictable and the same every single day. There was an element of, you know, when you are doing similar type of, when you're growing expertise in an area, you will apply similar methodologies, frameworks over time. So you will know your, your work, otherwise you're not doing it correctly, right? So I did know what to expect, even though of course the client problems are different. A clients organizations are never the same but I didn't know what to expect and I was not one of those people when I was in uni I knew exactly what I wanted to do in fact on the grad scheme I applied for it was tech consulting in general so I could have landed in any team in the tech consulting um, practice so I could have landed in data I could have landed in cyber and I always had this what if um, you know is this the one I was meant to be doing for the rest of my life and I wasn't comfortable with that Second, I felt like it was time to move to my next role. So you know that time when you feel you're ready, of course you're overexerting yourself, you're taking on challenging, stretching roles, and yeah, you feel that you're ready, um, but then of course there are always things you can do better because you're not the next grade you are trying to be. So you know, a mixture of, I wanna try something new, but I also wanna get to the next grade. Plus, you know when you know people for a long time, you know their good side and you also get to know their bad side. And sometimes when you become too familiar, you do start noticing more of the bad things, even though now that I've moved, you realize, you know what, things are actually not too bad. So the truth is, um, there are times you know when you're ready for a change. There will be different drivers. Your drivers could be different to mine. Your drivers could be, you know what, I want to buy a house. I want to do this. I want to do that. So I need, I don't care the environment that I'm moving to, but I need to up my salary by this much. So what happened with all those triggers in mind? I, you know, LinkedIn always has people messaging, but I never used to check them before. Then, you know, now that I have this passion in me, I'm like, you know what, let me see what's out there. Why not? Let me see what out, what's out there. And I'm surprised there's a lot out there. There always is a lot out there. Even up to now, I'm still messaging, even though I'm fresh in my new firm. And I'm like, guys, I need to at least have done a few months before I move. Come on. 
Um, so that's what ended up um, driving me to check out what's out there. And I actually applied for um, the first, like there was someone who reached out, a firm, a smaller firm, not a big four firm. They reached out to me. I did interview with them. I actually really liked the interview process. They gave me an offer, but it wasn't good enough to make me leave where I was coming from. Because this is the reality of shooting. <laughs> so yeah so the offer they gave me wasn't good enough to make me leave because i wasn't bitter like i emphasize i was generally not bitter but i was ready for a change so um yeah it gave me good practice though because you'll be surprised yes you did an interview to get your job but if you've been at your job for quite a while you will be surprised how being able to even do an interview be able to sell yourself is actually something that you need to practice on it's not just newbies who um, need to practice but yeah I then got this other, um, the role that I'm doing now is actually very, very different. Um, so it's not the one I was headhunted for. I actually was headhunted for a similar role to what I was doing at my previous firm. Um, and remember, one of my drivers was doing something different. I was always curious, what should I do? And even it showed in my projects. Um, we were doing, like my team mainly did risk and controls type of projects. Um, but I felt like, nah, let me, let me try something. And I even got on a transformation engagement and I really liked it. But again, I still wasn't sure. Is that the one, is that the line I want to take? Do I want to take project delivery, um, route still that wasn't, I was still searching, searching for what I want to do. Um, but when I read the job profile for the role I'm in right now, something in me just told me, you know what, just apply it. Even though you have no experience in that area, apply for it. You never know. Um, so I, in my current firm, I applied for two roles, the one that's similar to what I used to do and this brand new role. And for both of them, I went for the next level up. Um, so I applied, went through the interview process and guess what? I actually got two offers from both roles. Um, but for the role that I actually took, so for the role that was similar to my previous role, I got the next level up. For this role that I'm in right now, I got similar level. But which one did I end up going for? I think you know by now. I went for the one that's different because I, I could have easily gone for the other one and left just for the purpose of improving my grade. But I just read this job um, description and I was like, you know what? This is what I want to try out. This feels right. And you know within you, you know that it's right. Like it's just, there's just, there's the way the world's forces just make you lead you to watch where you're meant to be so yes i went for it um it was a risk i was on track for promotion at my previous firm and even up to now i don't know if i've made the right decision but i know it feels right i know i am growing i know i am feeling challenged and you know what the good thing with having qualifications the good thing with selling yourself you could move laterally but your salary is not lateral at all so guys I'm just making this video to let you know, if you feel that it's time for a change, go for it. Take on that challenge because five years down the line, you'll be there wondering what if, what if, what if. Maybe having to settle down because you're too far down your career ladder to start going back. So go for it. You may have no relevant, um, okay, you, you always have, you have to show that you have relevant experience. Sorry, let me take that back. You may not have what they've listed there as these are the essentials but go for it you might be surprised they might like your cv and realize you know what we actually need the skills in our team because i went for it and i must say i did not i do not have any transformation experience i do not have any strategy experience i have purely i'm a purely risk and controls heavy person <laughs> but you know what they saw something and they took me so yeah this is just to encourage you to take on that challenge because take it on today not tomorrow you never know cheers bye Thank you.